Let's begin with breaking news tonight just in from Detroit's west side where there is a large police presence after shots are fired at a police cruiser. Let's get right to Jason Colthorpe and Jason there are multiple scenes here. Yeah, we have three scenes, Kim, and a large police presence is an understatement. Guys, take a look behind me. We have dozens of marked and unmarked Detroit police cars. We are at the third scene. We'll get to the other two in a moment. There's also MSP vehicles out here. What we have at this scene is a barricaded gunman around the corner on Robeson, a home just around the corner. But this all began two hours ago. Let me show you some video of the first scene. Around 9 o'clock, an undercover car working with the auto theft task force was uh, doing some investigating it was checking on a white Dodge Charger with improper plates and also a, a Jeep Grand Cherokee when suddenly occupants in both of those vehicles started firing with an assault rifle at that undercover police car no officers were hit nor did they return fire but they did track those vehicles and uh, to a, a second location and then now to this one here and this is where they are uh, working on at least a barricaded gunman situation. We are waiting for a, an update from a uh, captain here out on the scene. However, we can confirm through police sources four people are in custody, but police ob obviously still have some work to do, and they're ready to go the length of the night to do it. The command mobile command center has been on scene here, so that's usually a sign that they're ready to be here for the long haul. We'll have any updates if they occur during this newscast. We're live on the west side. Jason Colthorpe, Local 4.